To draw this splendid cougar drawing, you're going to need some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen. We're going to start off our cougar by drawing a circle on the left-hand side of the page. So it doesn't have to be perfect, this is just a rough guideline. And you can draw around a coin or something if you've got one to hand. If not, have a whole tutorial on how to draw a circle up here. So there we go. There's a not very perfect circle. Now we're going to be drawing an oval shape, a very elongated oval shape. It's going to be diagonally coming down. This is going to be the body. So I'm just going to be drawing it just really roughly. Remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. No harm in watching it first and then going back and then just hitting the pause button after each stage. In fact, I recommend that's the best way to do it. There we go. Just a really, really rough oval shape like that. Now, just round this corner here, just here, we're going to be drawing a line coming downwards. This is going to be the tail. Just like so. We're then going to be drawing the front leg. So this is a curved line. Like that. And then the hind leg, which again is going to be a curved line. This comes a little bit lower and it has like a little bump in it. Then going to be drawing the kind of, it's like a piece, well, it's like a log that's being cut off, a uh, tree trunk kind of thing. It's, it's what it's perched on. But it could be a rock or anything really, just something for it to stand on. Now we're going to be doing the nose, which is just one line going across, just like this. One line going down and a little fork like that. We're going to be adding the eyes, so one little circle here. One little circle there, and then two triangles for the ears. It's quite easy, isn't it? I bet you're surprised. And then another one like this. And then one line just coming from the bottom of this ear and it's joining up the oval shape there. So cougars, they've got so many names. They're known as mountain lions, pumas or panthers. And they inhabit the Americas from Canada to South America. And then last but not least at this stage, we're just drawing a little line from this circle to the oval shape there. Okay, I've switched to pen, but please carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see it really well on camera. I'm going to start off with these incredible eyes. So they're actually just circles. So I'm just going to draw a circle in there. One circle and another circle. Just try and make them the same size. I know that's quite hard. It seems easy, but actually getting them exactly the same size is quite hard. Then we're gonna add like little feline bits to either side. So just like, it's almost like adding a little triangle on each side, so a triangle there and a triangle there. And then the same on this one, a triangle there and a triangle here. And then just gonna draw a dot in the center. They've got really beautiful kind of green eyes, so the pupils are really pronounced, just like that. Looks a little bit scared, actually, my mum. I'm just going to try and make the the top of the of the eye. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to extend this line, just coming downwards like that, and the same on this side. I'm going to extend this one here and there as well. And then it's got some markings. So there's one coming up like that, and one coming up like that. Now we're going to be drawing the nose. So, got this cute little pink nose. There we go. Lovely little nose like that. And then this line comes downwards towards the mouth. So, just a fork like that. I'm just going to draw a little, well, kind of colour it in just a little bit there. Now I'm going to bring. The bottom of this mouth here is going to go round and upwards like that and then the same on this side. Round and upwards and then the bottom of the mouth. Just round like that. I'm then going to go back to the top of the head. Just follow it there until I get to the ear. So the ear is a little less triangular than I did before just like that. And then the inside, I'm just going to draw a little squiggle like that because it's a little bit furry. Just draw the outer part of the ear there. 
and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So, exactly the same as before. There we go. And then again, a little squiggle. There we go. And then a line coming up like that. You're doing so well. So, let's carry on here. So, it's got quite big cheeks. There we go. And then try and keep it all symmetrical. So, big cheeks on this side as well. Just like so. Now we're going to skip and do this front leg. So this line goes through the middle of the leg, so I'm going to be drawing lines on either side of it. So I've got these really muscular legs, so just one coming around like this, just like that, and then time for the paw. So they've got these humongous big toes, look at this. Really, really furry, I guess they need to keep them, their feet warm, don't they? like that and the other one that you can't really see so much and then I'm gonna finish up the leg it comes up like this to about there now we're going to be drawing the front so the throat and the chest so it's a little bit furry so I'm just drawing little kind of dashes to show the fur so it's gonna come all the way down and then inwards I'm then going to draw the other front leg. So just starting a little bit further to the left hand side. I'm going to be drawing the other one. You can just see it just behind this one. And then the ginormous toes. Can't even say that properly. Ginormous toes <laughs> come round here. Just like that. And then we need to add some claws. So the nails are like that. Like this. And then on these ones as well. Excellent. Now for the back. So we're just going to be following this shape that we did before, but there are kind of lots of lumps and bumps. So there's a lump there, and then another one there. And then you basically just follow this line that we did before, all the way till you get to about there. Then it kind of comes diagonally down, and then we're going to draw the tail. So this comes all the way down here, and then round to the side. I'm just going to draw a couple of dashes just to show that it is furry and then round here and then just drawing a sketchy line going all the way up like this. So the cougar or the panther or puma is the fourth heaviest cat in the world after the tiger, lion and jaguar. There we go. Right, now we're going to finish off the hind legs. Now, they have super, super long hind legs to jump forward. And they can jump forward about 40 feet, and that's 12 meters. And they can actually jump vertically from sitting, this is the amazing part, 18 feet, or oh, that's 5.4 meters. That's amazing. Anyway, right, coming around. And then there's a bend there, and it goes inward. So we're then going to finish off this kind of tree stump thing that I was drawing before. So I'm going to draw the tree stump because it's actually covering the rest of the back foot. So there we go. There we go. Just gives it a little bit of context. So it's kind of crouching on this tree stump. There we go. Excellent. Right, so I'm going to be drawing at the other part of the hind leg, which comes around here. It comes all the way around to there. And then I'm going to be drawing the tummy. So the tummy starts a little bit higher than this oval shape that we did before in the preparatory lines, but it does join the oval shape there. Now for the other hind leg. Comes round and inwards. So if you haven't gone over it already in pen, go over it in pen, then erase all the pencil lines. Now you don't have to colour any of it in, but I'm just going to colour in the eyes in green, just a really, really faint green, just to bring it to life. They've got amazing night vision. So just a tiny little touch of colour just makes it come alive. 
So there we have our finished cougar drawing. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, I've got a whole big cat's playlist here for you to enjoy. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you've got any suggestions, please tell me. Also hit the subscribe and like buttons. And I do hope to see you next one. Thank you for joining me today. Bye bye.